Avoid also the error of the ignorant mind's demand on the divine power to act always according to our crude surface notions of omniscience and omnipotence. For our mind claimers to be impressed at every turn by miraculous power and easy success and dazzling splendor, otherwise it cannot believe that the here is the divine. The mother is dealing with the Ignorance in the fields of the ignorance, she has descended there and is not all above. Partly she veils and partly she unveils her knowledge and her power. Uh, often uh, holds them back from her instruments and personalities and follows that she may transform them the way of the seeking mind, the way of the aspiring psychic, the way of the battling vital, the way of the imprisoned and suffering physical nature. There are conditions that have laid down by a supreme will. There are many tangled knots that have to be loosened and ca cannot be cut uh, abruptly asunder. The Asura and Rakshasa hold this evolving earthly nature and have to be met and concured on their own terms in their own long concured five and province. The human in us has to be led and prepared to transcend its limits and, its, and is too weak and obscure to be lifted with suddenly to a form far beyond it. The divine consciousness and force are there and do at each moment the thing that is needed in the condition of the labor. Take always the step that is decreed and shape in the mind midst of imperfection the perfection that is to come. But only when the supermind has descended in you, she deals directly as the supramental shakti with supramental natures. If you follow your mind, it will not recognize the mother even when she is manifest before you. Follow your soul and not your mind, your soul that answers to the truth, not your mind that leaves at appearances to the divine power and she will free the godlike elements in you and shape all into an expression of divine nature.